Within Ecuador is the world's highest active volcano. There, the glacier-covered Chimborazo volcano towers to 6,263 meters or 20,548 feet above sea level. Yet, this volcano is 2,000 feet shorter than the Ojos de Salado volcano in Chile and Argentina, so why did I say it was the highest active volcano? The reason is that Chimborazo is considered to be the highest volcano on the planet if we are measuring from the planet's center, since it is located not far from the planet's equator. Planetary bodies such as the Earth tend to have a bulge due to the force of the rotating object at their equator, which in the case of Earth means the equator is a little more than 13 miles further from the planet's center than compared to the north or south poles. With this being said, although Chimborazo has not produced an eruption since Europeans colonized the region, recent evidence has suggested that the volcano is still quite active. Between 1,000 and 8,000 years ago, Chimborazo erupted on seven separate occasions, one of which sent pyroclastic flows more than 7.5 kilometers from its summit. However, the most notable feature of this volcano other than its height is the fact that more than 100,000 people, including everyone in the city of Riobama, live on top of a massive landslide deposit from this volcano. The landslide in question occurred approximately 65,000 years ago when the southeastern slope of the volcano partially collapsed, causing material to travel up to 35 kilometers away, covering a grand total of 260 square kilometers. This landslide is surprisingly easy to spot as it forms a large margin which is several hundred meters higher than the surrounding landscape. The Chimborazo volcano is located in central Ecuador where it is 150 kilometers south-southwest of the city of Quito. This volcano exists due to an offshore plate collision. There, the Nazca plate is subducting underneath the North Andes plate. The melted material from this collision then migrates upwards until it erupts onto the surface forming a chain of volcanoes. Chimborazo began forming 120,000 years ago when a volume of basaltic andesite and andesite lava erupted onto the surface. As powerful volcanic explosions occurred, large amounts of ash were scattered over the surrounding landscape. Then, a large lobe of blocky lava descended down the local hillside. After this process repeated hundreds of times, a large volcanic cone had been constructed. Eventually, eruptive activity changed, constricting a series of large overlapping lava domes likely due to an increase in silica content and viscosity of erupted lavas. Looking at the modern volcano, you can see the elevation where this phase of activity began due to an overall change in color of the lava flows. The aforementioned debris avalanche occurred around this change, creating a southeastern facing horseshoe-shaped collapse scar on the volcano. Not long after, a large explosive eruption occurred, depositing more than 10 meters thick of ash in a single eruptive sequence. The next phase of eruptive activity constructed several closely spaced secondary peaks out of more viscous lavas which had a significant component of dacite. During the last several glacial periods, glacial advance and retreat carved away at large sections of the volcano, giving it a highly eroded appearance. In the last 10,000 years, at least seven eruptions occurred, and although their overall sizes are not known, it could be speculated that each eruption was in the VEI-2 to VEI-4 range. These eruptions were very explosive, producing pyroclastic flows and large lahars from the rapidly melting glaciers. The last such eruption occurred around 500 CE. If this volcano was to erupt again, hundreds of thousands of people will be placed at risk. While thousands could be reached by pyroclastic flows generated by eruption column collapse or dome collapse, the main threat would be lahars. Just like Nevado del Ruiz, an eruption could rapidly melt large sections of the glacier, causing a 100 meter wall of debris to be sent down the volcano's slopes, largely via a series of already present river channels. Although Chimborazo is not as active as other volcanoes in the country, such as a nearby Tungarahua, it is still quite potentially dangerous. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my Grandidiorite tier patron Justin for requesting this video's topic.